Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, you might be thinking, Lou, why aren't you in work? It's a Tuesday afternoon. It's five to one in the afternoon. What are you doing with your life? Why are you at home? Truth of the matter is, I took a couple of days off. Don't judge me. Um, today's my first day. I'm off today, tomorrow and Thursday. And I'll go back to work on Friday. Um, just having a bit of me time, I guess. I know I was away a couple of weeks ago. Um, well, not many of you know, but I went to Edinburgh um, about three weeks ago now, I think it was. I was only up there for three days. Um, I went up there for a gig with my mum. Um, we went to see Paul Weller. He was at the castle. It was amazing. It was my 20th time seeing him. Don't judge me. I'm a massive fan. Um, so yeah, um, and then we came home on the Friday, um, sort of chilled out on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday we went to Hyde Park um, for British Summertime and saw Robbie. So that was probably about my fifth time seeing him. Sixth if you can't take that. So, and actually, how many times have I seen Take That? Oh, I only saw Take That once when they first came out, which was in like 1994, I think, at Wembley Arena. Um, that was like my first ever gig. Like, thanks mum for breaking me into the, to the gigging world. My first gig was Take That. Um, so yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've been, I've been tired ever since I came back from Edinburgh because it literally takes it out of you. If anybody's ever been to Edinburgh before, you know what it's like. And our hotel was just off, um, the Royal Mile. So we were sort of like walking up the hill, walking down the hill. Um, it, it was, pretty tiring but we we had a really good time sorry I keep looking out the window but there's some men um walking around sort of like the the little estate on where I live and one of them just had a leaf blower um so I pulled my blinds down and he sort of gave me a really dirty look I don't think they're English and he's only just switched it off so I'm hoping that they've gone but um as you can see from the title, I've got a little boot haul, and it is, it's only tiny. Here is my little bag. Look at that. Boots bringing in the paper brown bags. Um, and I have my receipt here. See, look, not very big, very basic. I got a couple of savings. Um, so yeah, uh, Let's get on with it. I, the, the main reason I picked up what I picked up was because I'd seen other people on YouTube um, using these products or being gifted these products. So um, I thought they look pretty, they look pretty cool. I shall, uh, I shall pick them up. So the first product that we have, and I saw a girl yesterday with this I think it was um I can't remember her name I think her first name was Emily Emily Mia I think I'm not 100% sure but she had one of these in her haul I don't think it was this flavor but um I know it was one of these so this is the so dot 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 question mark Mallorca Love. I don't know, can you see that? If I slightly tilt it. Um, I smelled it in the shop. It smells really, really nice, really sweet. Um, I don't know if it'll tell you the flavours. No, it doesn't. It just says body mist, but it doesn't say what flavours. But yeah. 
they had this which was Mallorca Love I think they had Mykonos Havana I think the one that that girl had in her video might have been Ibiza I'm not 100% sure um, so yeah that's that um, and that's a what size bottle is that 200 millilitres so on my receipt right here we go so it was 5.99 for that bottle i got it for 2.99 so for a 200 ml bottle of body mist that's not bad i mean obviously you can pick up some that are cheaper but um i thought that was quite good so that was that so yeah i shall be uh spraying that all over like that the next thing i got which was the same girl actually she had these in her video but i think she only had the one pack oh my god it's absolutely hammering it down um right so she had these so these are the always platinum okay ultra long now i always try to get it I can't believe I'm showing sanitary towels on my YouTube channel, but anywho, um, these are a size two, which if nobody knows, that's the extra small to small, and it's three droplets. Um, so that's it there. So that one right there. So they they're meant to be like extra long whatever whatever so i always get the daytime ones but then i also get the nighttime ones and as you can see the nighttime ones are number three which is that there three and three so you've got the medium and the large extra large and you know what these are so comfy whether you use the daytime or the nighttime they're so comfy, they're discreet. Um, also, I think what the girl said in her video, uh, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday I saw it. They're meant to be wider, I think it is, at the bottom. 60% wider or something, but I can't unless i've picked up the wrong ones now my luck i've probably picked up the wrong ones but anywho i thought i'd pick those up anyway um and for those okay so originally they were both um let's see if i can hold it like that they were both originally 199 there was a 59p saving woo which took it down to one pound 40 per pack which i think is really really good because these can be really really expensive like really expensive especially if you go if you start going for like the double packs um they can get uh uh cut that out they can get really expensive um so to see them like that and to see them at a pound 49 a pound 40 sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna snatch that um so yeah they'll be going in my bathroom on the little unit for the world to see um so the next thing i got now i am in love with this makeup brand from boots Whenever I go to Boots, I go straight for their makeup. I've got untold palettes of theirs. They're not a very big um, brand, but I think they're going to become pretty big. So it's the brand is called Obsession, and that's what they look like there. I think I might have um, put a couple of their palettes in one of my hauls before so this is the love is love 
Um, I haven't taken the sellotape off yet, but as you can see, there are some funky colours in there. What's that hanging? What's that? Go away. Uh, let's put that in the bag. Love is love. So, sort of like a, a pinky, beigey kind of colour. Then you've got like a, a brown and a bronze and sort of like a goldy and then a purple blue sort of like a is that like a teal kind of color no and then a, a really shiny green which is quite nice quite like that so this is the love is love palette and the thing is with this makeup brand obsession their palettes are so cheap i mean i've got one of my makeup bags down here um and this is this is just a couple so you get palettes like that okay and there's one two three four five palettes in this makeup bag so you've got this one here which is the all we have is now and i have used them again look it says it there obsession uh if i can open it look at that perfect so you got that one. This is the newest one that I've got, which is called In the Neon Jungle. Are you ready to have your mind literally blown? Okay, so this is called In the Neon Jungle. Look at those colours. Oh my goodness. They are insane. Absolutely insane. Some of them I probably wouldn't wear. I'll show you one more. So this is dream with a vision okay as you can see i've used that one a bit too much okay and that's that one there um they are just and do you know what they're so pigmented it's a joke um you know i've got like i say i've got quite a few palettes from this brand and they've never let me down never ever let me down i'll be going out on a night out and i'll have like my eye makeup on and i've had people compliment me by saying your eyes look popping just because of the color that is on my lids your eyes are popping they're like where is that color from so then when i tell them and i go it's uh, a palette from from boots and it's a company called obsession they're like right need to find that because i just feel like you know you're gonna get a good palette if people are complimenting on you and complimenting on your eyes so like i say this is the love is love i think you can sort of see the colors through the lid there you go that's the colors there really really good I can I can experiment with these. I'm not sure about the glittery green there at the end. That's a little bit ooh. unless I'm going to like a fancy dress party or um you know I'm going to a festival or something like that, then I might break that one out. But other than that, it's not gonna happen. Right, okay, so this if I can find it. Where are you? Why can't I find it? I can't find it. Oh, how annoying. Why can't I find it? Did she not charge me for it? I don't think she charged me for it because I can't find it. I'm looking on my receipt here and I can't see anything that says makeup obsession love is love. Oh, hang on. 
Six pounds. Six pounds. I found it. They've abbreviated it. Huh? <laughs> huh? They've abbreviated it. Sorry about the, the hurrah. Six pounds for that. So, uh, yeah, I, I shall enjoy experimenting with that. So the next thing I've got is, I can't put my hands on it, these. I am in love with these wipes, micellar water wipes. They're good. What do you need to know about these? You know, they're waterproof. They take off your eye makeup like that. You know, I could sit here one night and take my face of makeup off and literally just have one of these wipes and wipe it across my eye and it's gone. Literally gone. I'm not, you don't have to sit there and keep having to go over it. You know, one wipe and it's gone. I absolutely love these wipes. I also have micellar water, um, like liquid. Uh, I think it's like a makeup remover liquid. And again, if I run out of these, I break out that. And it's, it's so good. Um, these were a little bit more expensive. I thought, well, considering there's only 20 in here and you can go to Primark and pick up a double pack for is it like a pound um these were three pounds 29 three pounds 29 and like i say there's only 20 wipes in that there's only 20 wipes i've got two and a half packs because i'm halfway through a pack so i've got two extra so that will last me a while so, uh, next thing. Right. Oh, <laughs> I brought a brow pencil. Look where I got it from. <laughs> Makeup Obsession. Um, and I got this in the colour Warm Brown. Can you see that? Warm Brown. Um, I'm such a bad YouTuber. I should have opened things before I started this video. So obviously, I'll just show you on the box. Obviously you've got your brush down that end and then on that end you've got your, your filly in bit. I wish I would take more care with like my eyebrows and stuff. Um, I get them done every now and then, but as you can see, I don't know whether or not you can, my eyebrows are so light, really, really light. So, and because obviously I wear glasses, you can't really sort of see my eyebrows, but I just want a little bit of colour. I do have Wonder Brow, which I do use if I'm going sort of like to... Um, a party or whatever I'll put the wonder brow on or whatever but then sort of like when you come home sorry I thought my, my watch vibrated just then I thought I had a notification or something um when I go out that's when I try to tend to do my eyebrows um but because obviously I wear glasses you don't really sort of see it Unless I sort of wear them like that. Now, if I do that and I look over the top of my glasses, I can't see nothing. I'm blind as a bat. I'm blind as a bat. So I have to wear my glasses 24-7, 365. Obviously, when I'm in bed or in the bath, I do take them off. Um, or in the shower. I, since being in this flat, I've not had a bath. I always have showers because it's quick, it's simple, you're in, you're out, you're done, let's get it going. So, yeah, but I am gonna start um, getting on the eyebrow hype again, I think. 
It says angled precision, precision tip pencil builds and defines brows. Like I say, that was in the colour. If I can find you, there you go. Warm brown. So the last thing that I got, um, I had to buy. I bought three things, but it's all to do with one thing. So if I get out the first, uh, and I've seen people um, review this brand. I've seen people use this brand. Um, so I, I thought I'm going to give it a go because I'm one of them types of people. If I don't give it a go, then I'm never going to know what it's like. Um, so, and I've never done this, this way. I've done it another way, but I've never done it this way. So if I show you the first thing, cause that's probably going to be a bit of a major clue. See that? Bondi Sands. Everybody knows what Bondi Sands is. So as you can see, this is a reusable self tan mitt. And it feels divine. <laughs> I probably won't do it with my right hand. I'll probably do it with my left hand. There you go. It has Bondi Sands, the Australian tan. The main reason I got this, whenever I'm out in the sun or on holiday or anywhere that's sunny, my legs don't tan. Okay? And if they do, I could be on a two week holiday and my legs will only start to go brown like three days before the end of the holiday. No matter how much I try to tan my legs, they never go brown. The rest of me, you know, I did that video on, when was it, Saturday? Look, look at that. So brown. And right now the weather is absolute shite. I'm looking out the window and it's raining. So I bought the mitt and obviously I didn't stop there. I then bought, I thought, how am I gonna do this? Like, how am I gonna do this? So I bought the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. Oh, oh my God, it's coconutty. Oh, oh, I like that. Salon quality, coconut scent, quick dry formula. Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. So yeah. And it's good because on the back it tells you um, how long to leave how long to leave it for for that desired colour. So for half an hour it says light to medium, one hour dark, two to three hours darkest. So I would probably leave it on for sort of like to start off with, probably sort of like only half an hour, and then wash it off. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. So because I then bought that, I then bought, and some of you are going to laugh and just be like, what the hell? I then bought that self tan eraser. Um, is that coconut as well? No, oh, that sucks. Instant self tan removal, gentle forming cleanser. Okay, so you've got the mitt, you've got the self tan, then you've got the eraser. Okay, so the prices for these, the mitten was six pounds. 
which is not bad for a mitt because you look at like Saint Tropez and they're quite expensive. So that was six pounds. Then you've got the Bondi Sands one, uh, one tower, one hour express, which was eighteen ninety nine for that. Eighteen ninety nine, and this is. I don't know what size it is, 225 mil, 225 mil, maybe, 18.99. This, oh, do you shake it? Sands, Bondi Sands, oh, okay, I'm just reading this. So it says, for best results, apply Bondi Sand Self Tan Razor to dry skin after at least three days of applying self tan. Pump foam applicator firmly and apply Bondi Sand Self Tan Razor liberally to the skin. Leave the Self Tan Razor on the skin for at least five minutes. Shower with warm water using a wet face cloth to wipe away the tan. That's what I didn't get. Because obviously I thought I could be cocky and clever and use one side for that and then the other side for that. But no, you can't. Bum holes. So in all, for everything that I showed you, um, it came to about... It, well, it came to £83.11, but there's a couple of things on there that I haven't included in this video just because um, they've got no relevance. Um, it's nothing bad or anything like that. It's just that I don't really want to show you. No, I'm not pregnant, so they're not pregnancy tests or anything like that. I'm single for crying out loud. What's the point in that? Um, but they're just things that... Um, I don't really want to be showing you or sharing or anything like that. It's it's nothing major. So in total for the for the products that I've showed you and the two that I haven't, it came to eighty three eleven, um, and I saved twelve pounds eighteen. Everybody loves a bargain. Um, how many points did I receive? Right, I received three hundred and thirty two points, which isn't bad. So the total points on my card at the moment is 8,144, which is really good actually. That's really good because obviously that's 81 pounds 44 pence. Um, I do like to rack up the points on my card because then that means when it gets to things like Christmas, I can just pay for it with the boots card and I haven't got to um, pay like cash or anything like that or pay with my, my debit card. I can use my boots card for so all them points that I've saved up over the year or however long I can spend on, on Christmas presents and stuff. So yeah, so that's going to be the end of this video if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you're new and you just happen to stumble across this channel and my pretty face please subscribe it helps the channel out i've only got like 20 subscribers it i'm just doing my thing you know um i will try to bring you more hauls um and bits and pieces so please so subscribe, ding, ding dong that notification bell, leave a comment. I do read them and I do reply. Um, so yeah. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.